Guys, there's levels to this attraction stuff. At the bottom, you got your beta cucks and white knights. In the middle, you got your average Joes, you know, the happy wife, happy life sort of guys. But at the top, you got your digital Romeos and Playboys. Now, I used to be an average Joe too, and it wasn't until I implemented these three Playboy tactics to level up my dating game. And lucky for you, I'm about to reveal them to you right now. But first, we gotta change. All right, Playboy Dunham in full effect. All right, so the first Playboy secret to attract more women is that you need to be charming. Yes, we've heard the word charming, but what does it actually mean? Well, I have three characteristics that all Playboys use. The first thing, you need to be romantic yet spontaneous in your actions. Romance isn't dead and a lot of women still enjoy romance. And just because you're red pill or no female nature doesn't mean that you should stop the romance in your relationships. But what you need to do is don't have predictable romance. That's why I personally do not like Hallmark calendar holidays like Valentine's Day and all these other holidays. It's because it's so predictable. Valentine's Day, what do you guys do? They go out to dinner, they buy flowers, they get chocolates, they buy cards, like it's all the same stuff. So what you need to do is outside of those Hallmark holidays, be more spontaneous and adventurous, yet romantic at the same time. And the reason why this works to Playboy's favor is because women love adventurous men who aren't predictable. And that's also why women do not like nice guys is because they are just too predictable. A lot of playboys give off this bad boy sort of demeanor and that is because they are just simply unpredictable and they're romantic when they need to be and it's usually not in the times in which you will feel like it will be the right romantic time. So another thing that playboys do in regards to being charming is that they're sweet yet aggressive. So what does this mean? It means exactly what it says. I'm a kind, nice guy, but at the same time, I'm pretty aggressive in the sense where I'm not gonna let you step over me. I'm gonna put boundaries in place, and then from there, she's gonna have to comply and listen. That's the art of being submissive and why a lot of playboys tend to get submissive women is because they have that aggressive sort of personality and characteristic to them that makes them more charming. Now, alongside with that, this plays a part into being a nice guy is that you don't wanna be a pushover. You wanna be kind, but never a pushover. There's a difference between being kind and being nice. Nice guys are always catering towards a woman. How can I please her? F my needs, I don't care if it benefits me or not. I'm gonna put everything towards her first and that's why nice guys lose. You need to be kind, like a, just a, a good person, but at the same time, never be a pushover and make sure that she respects your boundaries. Now, if you're watching this as a playboy or even a future playboy, there's one thing in common that a lot of playboys do and that is, have those business meetings if you know what I'm talking about. And that's why today's sponsor, Blue Chew, is gonna help you excel in those business meetings so that you can become an even better playboy. Now, if you don't know Blue Chew, Blue Chew is a service that helps people get access to convenient, affordable tablets that will help men be stronger and harder, if you know what I mean. Personally, I've been using the Blue Chew service for over three years now, and it's really given me a solid edge in the bedroom. The best part about Blue Chew is that it requires no in-person doctor's visits, and it's all done online. And it's a chewable tablet that can be taken discreetly with no hard to swallow pills. All you literally have to do is take it, chew it, and it actually tastes pretty good too, I'm not gonna lie, it tastes like candy. Not to mention, it's a lot cheaper than just regular Viagra or Cialis. Now, my go-to is Tilatophil, but they also have Sidenafil, and now they even have Ordenafil. So you have many options to choose from, but what I recommend that you do is you test out which one caters more towards your goals and what you're trying to accomplish. So the process is easy. All you gotta do is just chew it, then do it. So if you're ready to take your bedroom game and your Playboy game to the next level, use my code down below, code Dunham, for your first month free of Blue Chew. Now, back to the video. The next thing that all Playboys do is that they are actually great listeners. A big thing that you don't wanna do on dates or whenever you're just engaging with a woman is talking too much about yourself. You need to have that ability to listen and relate to the stories that she is talking about. All playboys do this well, and even all salesmen do this well. There's a correlation between sales and being a playboy too, is that you wanna to listen to your customer. You wanna you know, hear their problems and then express and relate to those problems in a charismatic way going back to their first point. 
If you're talking about yourself too much, if you're trying to qualify yourself too much, then that's simply not a playboy trait because playboys don't necessarily try and qualify themselves to the woman like, I'm so great, this is why you should date me, this is why you should do this, that, who cares? They're already in the moment and all you gotta do is have that calm, stoic, relaxed sort of vibe and just listen and then talk back. Honestly, the 80-20 rule should be at play in this position. 80% of the talking should be done by the woman on most dates and encounters. Then 20% of you should be, you know, giving your take back, giving your stories back and stuff like that. I know that I'm doing well whenever I'm on a date is whenever a woman tells me, I've been talking so much, what about you? You haven't spoken that much. What about you? Or sorry, I just talk a lot. And then in my head, I'm like, yeah, it's because I'm, a, I'm purposely allowing you to talk mostly in this conversation because I'm just here trying to listen. You know, and that's a playboy trait that a lot of playboys actually do right and is your Romeos. Another part about being a great listener is that whenever you express things back to her, you wanna be able to actually teach her. This is a big point that's often overlooked but guys who have experience in their lives and are just knowledgeable in things and can teach women about things is actually very attractive. Now I have the gracious ability to actually do this because I'm always learning. I'm always reading, I'm always watching videos and learning how to do something. So whenever I have these conversations with women, it's very easy for me to give my take on something or to give my experience in something and to actually teach them something new and then alongside with that, show them something new. Remember, going back to the adventurous, spontaneous sort of vibe, I'm always trying to figure out how can I either show her something new or tell her something new that in which she never known before, and most Playboys will always get this right. So within my Digital Romeo mentorship, I had one of my students ask me, like, what should I respond back to this text? And the girl texted him, was like, hey, what are you doing? It was late at night, it was like, 11 p.m. like hey what are you doing and then what i told him not to do is reply logically i said don't reply in the sense where nothing much what are you doing or nothing like that i told him to say this why does somebody want to see me with that eyes emoji and the reason why i told him to reply back that way is goes into my next point is that you need to initiate emotional responses from women and the easiest way you can do that is to not reply logically to certain texts. And a lot of guys get this wrong and a lot of playboys get this actually right is because we know that women are emotional creatures. And that means is that they don't want logic and facts. They want emotions. They want their emotions sparks and stories played in their head. So whenever you're having a text conversation with a girl or even a, a new girl, try and figure out how can I reply to this text in the most non-logical way that will ignite an emotional response. It takes a bit of practice and it's not easy to do. However, the more you do that, the more you'll start to see greater results from the woman that you deal with. It's no longer yes and no, it's more like maybe so, maybe no. Remember that women want emotional roller coasters. They sometimes want highs, they sometimes want lows. They don't want just a plain boring roller coaster that's not doing absolutely anything. You gotta initiate those emotional responses, go up and down, and then that's how you get the most and the best out of a woman. I have many examples of this, and it can be different for every situation, but just always ask yourself, how can I initiate an emotional response? And if you want more help with that, then go ahead and click down below to join my Digital Romeo Mentorship. Now, in regards to characteristics, there's one thing that you must always do, and that is to remain stoic, which means that you are not emotionally reactive towards women themselves, because remember, they're emotional creatures. So where a lot of guys also get wrong is that they are too emotionally reactive to how a woman reacts to their emotions. So if a woman is upset or if a woman is bothered, you actually let that affect you. One big thing I've learned, not only in short-term dating, but long-term dating too, let's say you have a girlfriend or whatever, is that you wanna maintain stoic responses and be just less emotionally reactive towards things. And then from there, that's gonna show strength, that's gonna show character, and that's gonna show maturity too in the situations that you deal with because Remember, women want a rock to go to. They don't want somebody who's gonna be emotionally reactive with them and playing to their emotions alongside with them. You gotta maintain that playboy stoicism and that's how you'll get the best out of a woman. So follow these three characteristics that all playboys do. And I promise you, your dating life is gonna absolutely transform. Don't forget to check out Blue Chew down below. If you wanna get those business meetings in the right way, subscribe, like, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.